Hello and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are taking a look at the new Confetti Background Hot Foil Plate. To show you how this plate works, I will be creating a birthday card using some mermaid cardstock as my background and foiling with the Confetti Background Hot Foil Plate with some rainbow foil. First, I want to cut my foil so it fits the entire plate. Then I'll bring out my Spellbinders Glimmer platform to do my hot foiling. I've already gotten the platform ready and hit that button to make that timer light blink. Once it stops blinking, I can add my foil with the pretty side facing towards the plate. Then I will add my cardstock. I like to add a piece of just plain typing paper so that I don't get any of that foil onto my plates. And then I like to pop it out of the base before I put my two plates on top. Then I can run this through my die cut machine and I'll just clean up any overfoiling with a sand eraser. Or on this one, I will be trimming this out with the largest of the outside in stitch rectangles, which will get rid of some of that overfoiling on the edges. And I can just take that sand eraser and clean up any little stray bits of foil. Now I have this beautiful panel and that rainbow foil on the mermaid is just so pretty. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of this and then pop this onto a card base. Since I use that outside in stitch rectangle, I get that nice white border around all the sides. Now for my sentiment, I'm using the giant happy birthday to you and I've cut this from some pixie dust cardstock so you get that really fun glitter but I wanted it to be colorful so I'm taking my inks and some little finger dauber brushes and creating a diagonal rainbow ink blended across the sentiment and it does make it a little easier to keep this in the negative to hold on to it while you do the ink blending. So I started with raspberry ink the orange is fake tan. I'm using some lemonade for the yellow. Freshly cut grass for the green. Some forget me not for the blue. And then lastly, I will use grape jelly for the purple. And because I'm blending this onto a glitter cardstock, the colors are going to stay nice and light. Then I can just pop this out of that negative piece and pop out all of those little inserts in the letters and I get this really fun rainbow gradient sparkle sentiment. I'm also going to use that same die and cut one out of narwhal cardstock. I'm adding some liquid glue all over the back of the glitter piece. And then I will layer this on top of the narwhal, offsetting the die cuts a little bit so that I get a drop shadow. And this will help the sentiment stand out a bit more on that background. So you just want to offset these a little bit and you see I have that nice gray drop shadow to the left and the bottom of the sentiment. Now I also really wanted to pop this up to make it stand out as well. And these thin foam strips work perfectly. You can just cut little strips, layer them behind the letters. You can see I've put a whole bunch on here, pulled off all that liner tape, and then I'm just going to pop this right in the middle. So you kind of get double shadows because you have a cardstock shadow and then from the dimension as well. And then finally, I'm just adding some iridescent sequins that I just kind of sprinkled around with some liquid glue. And here is that fun, really simple happy birthday card with that really cool rainbow foil background. Next up, I'm going to be recreating a card that Grace made. It uses the cute little dog from Possum Birthday, along with some dogs from Furry and Bright, and then some party hats from All the Party Hats so that we have a dog party happening on our card. I'm also using that cute little cupcake with a bone from the Yappy Birthday add-on. First, I will be using the Confetti Backdrop Hot Foil to foil some gold foil onto white cardstock to create my background. So again, I have this platform all ready to go. I'm layering my foil with the pretty side towards the plate, then the cardstock, and then my plates. And you can see when I pull these away, 
and pull off this foil, I get this really fun gold foil background. Now that I have this foiled, I can trim this out with the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles. This will give me a white border around my white panel for a really cool tone on tone look, but it also gives me that nice finished stitching edge around my panel as well. Now for the sentiment, I have a piece of scrap craft cardstock. I'm using the sentiment from Possum Birthday that says, have a possum birthday. I've already prepped my little piece of cardstock with some anti-static powder tool, stamping this in clear embossing ink and adding some white embossing powder. Then I will take my embossing gun and heat this up until that melts and I get that bright white sentiment on that craft cardstock. Then I can take my smallest sentiment banner, which happens to fit around this sentiment just perfectly. I will line that up and hold this in place with a little bit of removable tape and run this through my die cut machine to have a little sentiment banner for the bottom of my card. Now I am lining up my letters for the big sentiment at the top. And I like to bump the bottom with my ruler to make sure it's all nice and straight. I'm adding that exclamation point, and then I'll take that removable tape and pick up all those letters so that I can move the whole word as a unit. I will repeat the same process with the letters in the word let's so that I have two words to glue down. Now these are cut from mermaid cardstock, number two pencil, canned pumpkin, and noble fur. Once I have all my letters on that piece of tape, I can take it and flip it over, add some liquid glue to the back, and then place it on my card. The tape makes it easy to see the letters, make sure everything is nice and straight and lined up. And then I will repeat the same with the word on top. Center that up right above and stick that down. Then I can carefully peel off that removable adhesive. And of course, I want to make sure that I add the little dot on my exclamation point. Now I can start to add my little dogs. I do want to dress up these two with their party hats. So I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to the top of their heads and pop those party hats right on there. Now all the dogs are dressed up for the party and I can arrange them below the sentiment above. I will be gluing the two dogs on the left and the right directly to the background. And then for the dog in the center in the package, I am going to put some foam squares on the back of him so he's popped up off that background a little bit. And then I'll do the same for the cute little cupcake with the bone and the bone with the bow tied on it. So all those pieces in the foreground are popped up with foam and then the dogs behind them are directly onto that background. Finally, I need to add that embossed sentiment on the little sentiment banner and I'm adding some foam squares to the back of it so that it can also be popped up just like that little dog in the gift. And I'll just line this up right below my images. And then here is the finished card. Thank you, Grace, so much for letting me recreate this today. I just love that gold confetti background. Next up, we're recreating another card by Grace that uses that background with the giant Make-A-Wish die. So we have our plate all heated up. We've cut our foil to the size of the plate. We will place it face down onto the plate, add our cardstock, then add the two plates that go with the glimmer system. Then we'll pop this off the base and run this through our die cut machine. And when we are done, we'll pull off that foil and get that nice gold foil impression on our paper.
We're using the largest of the scalloped rectangle stackables to cut out our foiled background, and this will be the shape of our card. So we're also going to cut a piece of the one in a melon 12 by 12 paper from the fruit salad collection with that same scalloped rectangle and trim it down right at the scallops towards the bottom, creating a little plaid base for our card. So we will just line that up and adhere it to the bottom of our rectangle. Then we'll take the giant make-a-wish die, cut this from some craft cardstock, some rose gold metallic cardstock, and some gold sparkle cardstock. So we're going to put some adhesive on the rose gold die cut and layer this onto the craft with a little bit of an offset so that we get a little bit of a craft shadow behind our sentiment. Then we'll take the gold one and just cut off the little stars. And we're just going to add those stars to the stars of the big sentiment. So once we have those trimmed off, we're just adding a few dots of glue to those little stars. Then we'll just pick them up and add them to the die cut. Next, we're going to take some gold metallic cardstock and cut this with the rooftop border die as well as the build a drink cocktail add on. We also have a stitch scalloped rectangle frame cut from some pixie dust cardstock and we've taken some ink and inked up two of the sides to get that pale pink color and we're just trimming those down to create some thin border strips. Then we're going to use these to create a birthday cake out of the sentiment. So we're just going to trim these down to where they are the right length to fit right across the top of the words a wish. This is going to give it a really fun look like it is the top of a bottom tier of a cake. And then we're just going to trim the excess off so that this little border is the exact width of those words below. Next, we're going to take that other side of that rectangle, and this one will have the scallops facing up. I'm going to add some adhesive to the back of it and line it up so it's centered along the bottom of those words, a wish. Then we can add adhesive all over the back of this sentiment and line it up onto our rectangular card base, lining it up with the bottom lined up with the top of the pattern paper. Next we have the gold scallop piece cut with that rooftop border and we're just going to trim this down. This is going to be the cake stand that our Make-A-Wish cake is sitting on. So we're just trimming this right at the end of a scallop. So we have five big scallops. And then for the drink, we're just going to use the bottom of the glass as the pedestal for our cake stand. So we'll just line that up along the bottom of the cake that we've created and then tuck that little stand up underneath. Next we're pulling out the candle and the little flame die that are part of the Stitch Cupcake die set. We'll be cutting these candles from the striped paper and then the flame from some gold glitter cardstock. And we'll just add a dot of glue to the top of each and add that glittery flame to each candle. Now we can take our three little candles and add them to the top of our birthday cake. We'll just add one right in the center and then one on each side, just tucking them in behind the letters so that they look like they are stuck down into our cake. Next, we're going to pull in some cute little mice. These come from the Really High Five stamp set as well as Bubbles of Joy. We've already colored and cut out our mice using the coordinating dies. And we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the back of each mouse and place them around our cake. I really love that little mouse jumping on the side. I think that is really fun. And then these other little mice kind of looking up at the candles and looking up at the cake. I really love that one blowing the candle out at the top. Next, we're taking a standard size card base and this scalloped rectangle is a bit larger, but we're just going to add that and then you hide the card base behind that scalloped rectangle and here is our finished card. I love all that shine from the metallic cardstock as well as the foil and the glitter on top of the candles. Thanks so much, Grace, for letting us remake this card today.
Now let's take a look at some cards by the design team. Callie made this really fun shaker card that uses the confetti for the background, the negative for the sentiment, and then she used the let's celebrate backdrop as the frame, which I think is so fun. Elise created this pair of really cute and simple happy birthday cards with that beautiful foiled background. And then Letitia created this really fun foiled background using some ink blending over that foil, and I just think it is so pretty. Audrey created this beautiful, bright, giant outline happy birthday card, and I love that foil confetti peeking through behind the sentiment. Mindy created this beautiful card with gold foiling, and she ink blended over top of it to create that really beautiful background. Kara's card is really fun and unique, and I love how she incorporated the foiling with the monochromatic coloring of the critters and the sentiments. And then Mindy created this really fun and beautiful rainbow shaker card with that simple sentiment in the front. Here is Grace's card that inspired the card that I created in today's video. I just love that gold foil background. And then here is the other card by Grace that inspired the other card we created today, changing that Make-A-Wish into a really fun birthday cake. And here's one final look at the card I created with that rainbow foiling of the confetti background, which I just think is so much fun. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.